Hi everybody, Mr. Lee here. I just wanted to share a book with you today that talks about the systems in your body and how they work together to allow us to do amazing things like exercise. So this book is called The Busy Body Book. It's by Lizzie Rockwell. Hope you enjoy. The Busy Body Book by Lizzie Rockwell, A Kid's Guide to Fitness. Busy bodies bounce up and down. They stretch from side to side and run all around. They catch and throw, they push and pull. They pedal, they paddle, they roller skate too. When you get busy, what do you do? Your body is meant to be busy. It's meant to move fast, lift heavy things, and walk or run for miles. Just look at it. You have hands for clapping, feet for stamping, legs for leaping, and arms for swinging. You can jump, sprint, twist, and twirl. You do so many things. You can do all of that because your body is built to move. Underneath your skin is a strong, hard skeleton made of bones. Bones keep your body standing tall. Joints connect bones so you can bend. So we've got a picture of our skeleton, and at the top it says, you're made up of 206 bones. That is amazing. And then we have a lot of different facts about the skeleton. I'll just kind of zoom in there and let you pause if you want to read about the different facts. I'll pick a couple out here. It says, the spine is made up of many small bones connected by joints, so your back can bend and twist. Very interesting. And then at the bottom, this is a really cool fact. Half of the bones in your body are in your feet and hands. Half of the bones in your body are in your feet and hands. Wow. Muscles are attached to bones by tendons. Muscles let you move and lift and stretch. When you use your muscles again and again, they don't get worn out. Instead, they get stronger. You've got to use your muscles to get more muscles. So, a couple facts about muscles. Uh, we have biceps. Okay, they help you lift heavy things. Uh, we have ligaments, which wrap around muscles and tendons to hold them in place. And then at the bottom, our fact says, we have more than 630 muscles. Wow, that's a lot. Inside your skull sits your incredible brain. Your brain controls every move you make and thinks your thoughts. It gets information about the world from your five senses. Then it tells your muscles what to do and how to move. Message, messages travel back and forth at lightning speed along wire thin fibers called nerves. So here we have the brain and nerves. It says your brain is made up of the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brain cell or brain stem. And here's our five senses. We have sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Super cool. Your body is, is an amazing living machine, and it only needs a few things to make it go, like air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink. These things come into your body through your mouth and nose, but then where do they go and what do they do? When you breathe, your lungs co collect oxygen from the air. Your muscles need oxygen so they can move. Your brain needs oxygen so it can think. When you breathe in, you get fresh air. When you breathe out, you get rid of all the stale air. And here's a picture of our lungs. So air enters your lungs through your mouth and nostrils. Um, down here, the diaphragm is a sheet of muscle that opens and closes the lungs as you breathe in and out. Super interesting. The heart moves oxygen from your lungs to the other parts of your body. Your heart pumps blood through long, thin tubes called vessels. The blood picks up oxygen in the lungs and carries it to your muscles and to your brain. When your body gets busy, it uses more oxygen. Your heart beats faster and your lungs breathe deeper. Here's a picture of our heart and blood vessels.
As blood travels through your body, it also picks up food and water from the intestines. Then it delivers them where they are needed. Food gives your body energy. Your muscles use energy to move. Your heart uses energy to pump. And your brain uses energy to think. Food also supplies the materials that build bone and muscle. The stomach and intestines. All living things need water to survive. There is water in your muscles and around your brain. It is the main ingredient in your saliva, sweat, urine, and blood. Because your blood is mostly water, it can easily flow in and out of your heart and through your vessels. The path it travels is called the blood stream. When your body works hard, it gets hot and sweaty. Sweat is water that seeps through your skin to cool you off. The busier a body, the more water it needs. A busy body works hard. After a while, it needs to rest. Rest lets your body heal and grow and get ready for another day. Nothing like a good sleep after a long day's work. A body that gets busy each day stays strong, healthy, and happy. There are a lot of ways to be a busy body. Wow, look at all those different examples of great activities uh, to be physical. Great exercises. Which is your favorite? Awesome. Well, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the book, and I hope you can think of different ways to be physically active and get exercise.